All right, for more analysis on this, I'm joined by TGR Attorneys Director Matodzi Rashi Mbilani. Thanks for your time. We appreciate it, Matodzi. So the question is, because this judgment has been reserved for Friday, whether the constitutional court order still stands and if police have to arrest Jacob Zuma tomorrow. Yes, and uh, a court order stand until they are set aside. And what uh, the former president, Tim, uh, was attempting to do this afternoon was to indeed set aside, um, uh, you know, the, the part of the order that was given, i.e. the part where the minister of police and his functionaries were directed to, to effect an arrest. And that has not happened. Uh, my professional view will be that... Uh, the Concord order stands. So, we, so we, we have, of course, the police minister and national police commissioner saying that they are waiting for the outcome of next week's court action as well before they proceed with any arrests. Are they ignoring the law then by coming to their own determination pending the outcomes of this judgment that we're supposed to hear on Friday and then next week from the Constitutional Court? Look, it's unclear to me how they can decide to act against the court order or otherwise. They are a creature of uh, the court order. The court has instructed them to act in a particular way until that is changed. Uh, you know, it's not up to them to decide whether to honor the court order or not. Uh, I've also come to learn that they apparently exchanged some correspondence with the court, uh, whether they were asking questions or they were stating as a fact that they want. Uh, uh, you know, act on the order. The one thing I can say is that, uh, you know, when a, an order of court stands, you cannot change it by correspondence. Neither can you litigate by correspondence. In other words, you can't write a letter and say, you know, I want an extension of a court order or some other variation of such an order. So uh, I, I imagine that to the extent that they believe that the correspondence would help, I, I do not think it would. And that will be a very interesting case, wouldn't it? Because it will ultimately mean that the police minister and national commissioner have also not carried out an instruction of the constitutional court. Could there be any consequences for them? Because they've come to their own determinations here. Indeed, sir, and a court order is binding on all citizens and government functionaries. So if they fail to, to honor it, they will be in contempt. <laughs> and could get 15 months in jail as well. <laughs> I want to talk about the jurisdiction of the high court to actually decide on this matter. Because many of us were saying that the constitutional court, of course, is the apex court, has final say. But Jacob Zuma goes to the high court to try to hold what the constitutional court has ordered. It was interesting to hear that the High Court in Peter Maritzburg even decided to go ahead with proceedings on this matter instead of first saying, I really don't know if I have jurisdiction over this matter because he's hearing the arguments about whether police should or should not arrest Jacob Zuma. Yeah, look, I think the court can, uh, can make that decision at the end and I think they, they owed it to to the applicants to advance their arguments why they believe that they had uh, that the Natal court had jurisdiction and allow the respondents to to put their account of views so i think that's all in the in the mix of uh, determining all the all the all the legal questions that were raised today one of which is whether or not the court has jurisdiction so it would be certainly be in order for the court to at the end of or on friday as we now know to say Look, I've considered all the arguments, and I take the view that this court does not have, have jurisdiction. Yeah. It looks like a delay tactic to some experts because uh, Jacob Zuma could have went to the Constitutional Court where he's asking for a rescission to actually put on hold his arrest pending that hearing. But he didn't do that. He went to the High Court instead. Look, I mean, if it were if it were a delaying tactic, you know, it, in in this case, given how the events have turned out, it would have backfired quite badly because uh, uh, it is possible, you know, to ordinarily you cannot appeal um, a, an interim order or award, but the exceptional circumstances where if if uh, the court had pronounced today, even if they had dismissed the the application. Uh, I'm sure the, the applicants could have 
you know, far maneuvered their way to, to take that very decision on appeal. But as matters stand, you know, the judge has not pronounced a, a judgment. Uh, he says, I'll do it on Friday, which, as we know, will be somewhat overtaken by events. So if that was the technical tactical move, you know, it, it will it will backfire badly because even on those narrow bases, there's no opportunity for, for the former president lawyers to go and appeal the decision of the court because it hasn't been made yet. Mm. All right. Thank you so much for your time and your insight. We do appreciate it. TGR Attorneys Director Matodzi Rachim Bilani.